Hi, in this tips and tricks of video, we're going to look at a, another technique for creating meta clouds in view, which is to convert a mesh into a meta cloud. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is select a mesh that I want to convert. So I'm just going to have a look and see my library, what kind of things we've got going on. So if I look in here, I know one of my favorites should be way down at the bottom under S for a skull. There we go. So the mesh will come in, obviously, at the size it was it was saved at. So the first thing I'm going to do, bearing in mind this is going to be a cloud, is I'm going to increase the scale. So let's have a look. That's that's a big old skull at one kilometer. 300 meters should be fine because we're going to build upon this skull and make it um, much more interesting into a cloud formation. So let's just zoom in and see what we're going to get. So we're going to go to the uh, Meta Cloud menu, right click and hold, and go to Convert to Meta Cloud. At this point, um, as in the previous video, we've got various options to look at. Uh, we can tweak these uh, and s basically see what we, we end up with. Because I've got a skull and I want it to remain quite uh, visible and, and uh, understandable as a skull when it becomes a cloud, I'm going to leave the conversion accuracy at 1. I'll leave the sphere density like this uh, at the moment. In fact, I'll just... Click the button and see what happens. Remember that we're going to have the option to go back and change these settings if what we are seeing is not accurate enough. View will always approximate some of the larger volumes. This is not intended to be the complete solution, as it were, you know, the one click um, solution. So I'm going to just tweak the density just a little bit more and click apply. The beauty of, uh, of working this way is that um, let's say you get halfway through and you've, you've made a complete mess and you want to go back to the beginning. As so long as you've saved and, and you have an exited view at any point, you can go back and, and re-edit the MetaCloud, which we'll look at in a moment. So I'm quite happy with that now. We've got better density within the skull. So I'm just going to close that dialog box and start doing some editing. So I'm going to press Control on the keyboard and click on the sphere I want to edit because I know that that volume is far too big and it's going to be distracting within the skull. My first aim is to, to get the detail in the skull and from that point on, um, edit the cloud and create a, a cloud formation around the skull. So again, some of these larger volumes are I know are obscuring detail. There it is. So at the moment, if I zoom in, the cloud's going to be quite messy, quite difficult to see. So I'm going to tweak the material so that I can make it more visible. So I'm going to increase the density and the opacity. I'm going to decrease the sharpness and the ambient lighting because I want to see what's going on. I'm going to increase the roughness. We can see that more detail is coming out now. OK, increase the variations, decrease the uniformity. In fact, I might make that full just to make sure that I can see what I'm seeing. So, OK, at this point, I'm just going to move the position of the sun so I can see the detail a little bit better by having the, the light glancing across the, the front of the skull a little bit more and lower it down. Okay, so the density is not so good at the moment. I'm going to increase the size of the skull because meta cloud size, you know, in terms of X, Y, and Z is, is intimately linked to uh, how the material behaves and performs. So you can see now the density is, um, is improved. For some reason, two of my spheres decided they didn't like where they were going to be, so they've moved themselves. There we go, move that back in. 
Let's move the camera back out so we can see what we're looking at. So more or less, roughly, we're beginning to see the, the shape of the skull. I'm going to drop in another material that I made just to see if that uh, will improve our visibility at this stage. Remember, at the moment, we're just... Um, We're just creating, um, uh, sculpting and editing the um, the cloud. There we go, that will do. We'll make it a sandstorm material so I can really see what's going on. Let's have a look at what we've got. This visibility will increase and decrease and change as we go along and edit this skull. So that will do for now. So again... I'm going to look at editing this and creating a cloud formation. So I'm going to take one of the larger spheres initially and I'm going to right click on the menu and go to the Ed add MetaCloud primitive. There it is. And I'm going to start building up the shape of the cloud using these spheres. This is going to look odd initially. Don't be put off. It's all about gradually building up the overall size of your, your cloud feature. Adding more detail as we go. I might raise that up into the sky just because the ground's beginning to interfere with what I'm doing. Let's raise that up off the ground a little bit. There we go. That's better. And again, I'm just going to move the light so I can see what I'm doing. Better. Much better. So now we can see that as we edit the cloud, the overall coverage of the cloud will change and the details within the cloud will change. So again, remember, early days, we're building up the detail within this cloud. Control and click. And I'm going to copy and paste that one. I'm starting with large scale spheres just to flesh out the um, cloud itself. I'm just pasting at this moment just to, to build up some formation paste. The beauty of copy and paste is that the, the sphere ends up in the, in the position relative to the skull as that, uh, you know, makes it easier to move it in two dimensions, i.e. from plan view. And it will just do one more. And we'll raise that up somewhere like so. Okay, so let's do one more. It's a, it's a process. And more. I have to be careful to be fair with the amount of spheres that we add. We don't want to, to go to ridiculous extents, but that's better. Okay, so let's start thinking about smaller details now. Let's move it in around the face because we don't want the skull to be too obtrusive. Let's copy and paste that. Move one across to here and paste again. And we'll have one down under the chin. Okay. Paste again. What I'm going to do at this point is just to build up the flesh, as it were, of the cloud. I'm going to fill in some base. Okay, we'll drop it down a little bit. So as you can see, as you build in more detail, you can start editing, changing, adding. And at the end of the day, you look at it and you go, oh, I really don't like the way the direction that's gone. We can click on the skull. We can double click, sorry, the skull. 
So we'll go back and change some of the parameters. Let's maybe make it less spheres and we'll inflate the cloud spheres a little bit more. Jitter the position. Basically, all that's saying is move the position of the spheres by a certain percentage. So if we go crazy and we click apply, what you'll see is spheres end up basically all over the place. As soon as view gets through its conversion process, you can see now we've got a vaguely head-shaped cloud. It's, it's no good to us, so let's go back to that sphere jitter position. We want a degree of, of chaos in the cloud, but not that much. Remember, in terms of your meshes, it kind of has to form an enclosed volume, by which I mean a, a flat plane, no. Uh, you won't be able to create a, a flat sheet of... Um, He's got a nice afro. Um, a flat sheet of, of meta cloud spheres. It needs to be something that creates a volume, you know, a, a ball, a sphere, a jug, a, a car, you know, something that view can take that space and fill with spheres. And just to cut the process a little bit uh, shorter for you all, you can see on the screen after a little bit of editing and the inclusion of two more self-made meta clouds, you can end up with something like this. I hope you found it useful. Please uh, give us some feedback on social media or YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.